Okay, here's the dipstick from my car. And it sounds easy, but I'm going to show you the ideal spot or the okay spots for, you know, your oil level. Um, I drive for a living and always having my car worked on. I've known the guys that work on my car for over 10 years, so they've just given me lots of tips over the years on what to do, what not to do, and they tell me some horror stories about people, you know, coming in that either had no oil in their car or worse than that, you know, they, they overfill it. So it is possible to overfill, which is worse than, you know, being a little low on oil. So if you come down the dipstick, you'll see the full and the low. The ideal spot is just below the full. It's better to be on the low side or even a little bit below that than be over because if you put too much pressure in the engine, you're going to blow a gasket and it's going to be big bucks. You're going to be, you know, stranded. So check your oil every time you fill up, every time you fill up. And when you go to fill, put the oil in, you know, put the dipstick in, clean it off, put the dipstick back in, pull it out. If you need to add a little bit, you just add a little, check it, add a little more, check it. And as you approach that top, you know, line, just stop. That's, that's good. You don't, you don't, you never want to overfill it. You don't assume that you're just going to take a quart and just pour it in. I mean, they've told me, again, just horror stories about people that, you know, put way too much oil and it causes so much pressure and, again, you know, blows gaskets and, you know, ruins engines, which is obviously expensive. So, again, ideal spot, just below the full line.